Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I thought we might take a look at Stephen Coates and his business and I can show you how to run a Secretary of State search with California. So this is Stephen Coates. He was the individual with his own mixtape. He showed up to the decoy's house to, uh, let me say this carefully because he did come out with a video called Thought Crime. In fact, if you haven't seen Fast Eddie's channel, I will link it in the description, but he actually just did a very good analysis on Stephen Coates and also went over his music, so uh, be sure to check that out. But yeah, he allegedly showed up to, and I also gotta be careful because he likes to do takedowns on videos, so everything I'm showing you is public. Do you hear that, Steven? You can't take down shit. So yeah, anyway, he had a sexually explicit conversation with a decoy, and then he showed up at the house, and then of course he had his chat with Chris Hansen, and then was arrested. And he maintains throughout the years, and through his music, that he was persecuted for his thoughts, and because they didn't actually catch him doing anything, I mean, other than the chat and showing up at the house, but I mean, what's that, right? It's just talking. I don't see... The internet and real life are two different things. So let's just jump right on into his website, and this is stephengcmusic.com. Now, I could go through this whole thing, but right at the bottom, typically we'll see the company name, and it says Website Content and Design 2008 to 2021 by stephengcmusic.com LLC, all rights reserved. Probably powered by WordPress. Usually one would remove that, but that's okay. All right, so let's take this website in the LLC. Typically, you're not going to see a website with an LLC after it, but it does happen. It happens. It happens. Yeah. And we're going to head on over to California Secretary of State Business Search. All right, here we are on the Secretary of State page. I'm going to hit New Search, and you can search by corporation name, LP, LC name, and entity number. Unfortunately, you don't have a search all, so if you don't know whether it's a corporation or an LLC, you have to try one and then the other, but we happen to know this is an LLC because it says it, so I'm going to put that in exactly as it's written and hit search. Okay, here is the result. We have the entity number. The registration date was actually 2005. Status is active. Entity name is stephengcmusic.com, LLC. Jurisdiction is California, and the name is actually Stephen Walter Coates. Now, that's the registered agent's name. It says agent for service of process, otherwise known as registered agent. That is the individual that can accept paperwork on behalf of the business. And here we don't have a middle name on the DCAP wiki page. It just says Stephen GC Coates, but in quotes. So we actually don't know his middle name from here. Let's just do a true people search real quick. Although I don't want to do a whole investigation on this guy. I do want to make sure that Stephen Walter Coates is in fact the correct Stephen Coates. Let's see the date of birth over here. We have 4479. And we're just going to search all of California. Okay, we have a Stephen Winfred Coates currently residing in New York. Looks like hasn't been in California for a while. And we do happen to know that this person, Stephen Wesley Coates in Seattle. And then this one, Stephen W. Coates, age 72, also in New York, but previously out of California. Says this is his address in New York. I do believe he is out of California now. I've, I looked at his Twitter recently and... There is recent tags in California. Could be disinformation, but I think he is in California. Let's take a look at his addresses as well, and we'll go back to this and click on the entity name. Okay, so we have a registration date of 5-2-2005. Stephen Walter Coates, 713 9th Street, Unit 2, Santa Monica, California, 90402. Let's take a look at the True People search and see if he was... Oh, there we go. 713 9th Street, number 2, Santa Monica, California. So that matches up the information we have, and the True People search shows April 1949. This shows April 1949. So seems like the correct person to me. Let's take a look at the documents. Typically, when I'm researching a business on the Secretary of State, I will look out for three things. The original registration information, and that could be also named the Articles of Organization. That's going to typically have the most information on it. I will look out for the last registration, which in this case was March 5th, 2021, for any updated information. And then I will look out for amendments along the way, just in case something changed with the business. So let's check out the registration to start with. Okay, so this is interesting. This shows the website as stephenwcoach.com LLC, but his current website is stephengcmusic.com. Let's just check out Stephen W. Coat. Okay, so the site doesn't appear to be up, so let's go back to the document here. So that was the old name right there, stephenwcoats.com, LLC. It says right here, Stephen Walter Coates, and the address. 
The LLC is managed by one manager, and that's his signature and address again here. Okay, and then we have an amendment, and this was 7-11-2006. Okay, and this is where he changed the website name. You can see right here under section 3A, stephengcmusic.com. Now, what's interesting here is that the date of this amendment was 7-11-2006. So I'm wondering what was his exact arrest date, because I have a theory here. All right, so I don't want to spend a lot of time searching this, but it looks like it was 2006. And this says the amendment is July 11th, 2006. So I'm wondering if that happened. And if you happen to know the date, just let me know in the comments. But the amendment happened July 11th, 2006. So I'm wondering if that happened after he was arrested. And he's like, okay, I better not go under Stephen W. Coat. You know, I better change it to a completely different name, really throw people off. So... Oh, I know. I'll change it from Stephen W. Coates to Stephen G.C. Coates. That'll fool them. Okay, so then you have the latest filing here. This was 3-5-2021, and it says there has been no change in information. So he's still listed to that address. You know, just out of curiosity, he looks like he's been at that address for a while. Let's check that out. I know we're getting way off track here on the search, but, you know, it happens. It happens. Okay, so thanks, Google. You just, like, stuck us in a back alley here, but, uh... See if I can get a better view. Closer, okay. So anyway, this is 713 9th Street, Santa Monica, California. Let's try to get a better view. Okay, not much of a better view, but looks like this is probably it here or somewhere down this walkway into the alley. I don't know. Anyway, so that is stephengcmusic.com LLC and the history of it per Secretary of State and a few other searches. I hope you liked the video. If so, do me a favor, hit that like button. And let me just say I really appreciate how this channel has grown, everyone that's come on and subscribed and liked it, all the great comments, and I really enjoy interacting with everyone. So you know, thanks for helping to grow this channel, make it what it is. Watching the growth on the channel, watching everyone come in and comment has really given me a lot of inspiration to continue to work this channel and put up new content. So I definitely appreciate that. So I hope you all have a fantastic day and just remember to verify everything.